So today we're going to cover uh, when to let lobs out. A lot of times the lob is so good or even out that I feel you should just bounce it no matter what and give up the net. And if it's out, great, you win. But it's not worth going back and missing an overhead because the lob is too deep. So when you're when you're judging the lob, is you need to know early enough if you think that lob might be close. As these lobs are going, you're judging whether you feel it's in or not. That's going to be in. If I'm unsure, that's going to be in. I'll play it. And then that's going to be in, so I keep playing it. Noticing that's a tough one. I go back, and it was out. Any lob you would know after you get good at it, having a judge of, hey, I might not make that overhead, then let it bounce. If you're really confident you're still going to make it, then you're going to play it. I'm going to make this. I'm in position. Let's see this one. That's too deep. I'm going to go back. I get in position if it was in and call my partner back. Also, it's very important to let your partner know when you are going to let it bounce to call them back. So here, that one's a good one. I'm going to play it. That's going to be in. See this one? I'm going to bounce this, and it's long. And so I also will tell my partner, when I say I'm bouncing it, that means come back with me because I'm giving up the net. That's going to be in. That's going to be in. Uh, that's I'm going to bounce it out. So far, every one I've let bounce has been out. Get a lot here. It's definitely in. I blitz, that's too good. It's in. I go back and I don't look rushed because I know I'm going back either way. Time's up. Thank you so much for watching the video. And please do me a favor and subscribe and ring the bell. And my promise to you before I go is if you watch all these one minute clinics, you too can become a national champion. Well, maybe.